let me just adjust this lights here down in this tunnel but um, I want to make the tunnel visible okay I had a second look at this tunnel and I'm not satisfied with the light down here it's, it's too bright and um, I want to see in a distance okay as you can see there I can't see nothing from a certain distance stretching out the light will help the problem but I would like to see around the, around the bin you see it doesn't have to be too far the distance of the light but I at least want to see what is coming up ahead so I'm going to adjust the lights okay first off I want to add a torch to this camera that is the whole purpose of this part of the tutorial okay we are also going to adjust the speed of the part there's gonna be certain places where the mission is going to take place I'm going to make the carriage go very very slowly sometimes I'm gonna make it stop also so that we can kill the enemies okay I did put in a 2D overlay okay I made a cookie my own cookie the reason for that is I'm using the standard version of copper cube I don't have the pro version okay as you can see there's my cookie for the torch but let me just show you the, the vitnet here okay this is the vitnet in the pro version You'll be able to do the settings, but as soon as you play, press the play button, it asks you to go to the website and purchase the pro version. Okay, I just want to show you that this is not a pro version of Copper Cube. This is a free version, so you need to create your own cookie. If you want, you can download this cookie. I'm going to leave it on my website for you to download. Okay. So let me just publish play.exe. And as you can see, it takes you to the website. But I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to stay as the cookie I created in GIMP. Okay. I imported it to Copper Cube. See there? You have to buy Copper Cube Pro. But I don't have the cash to buy Copper Cube Pro. Okay, I'm just making tutorials for now. If I want to publish games, and then I'm going to buy the Pro version. But okay, let me just go back into the tunnel before we publish. Let me put this off. Okay, I'm gonna put my own vitnet in. There you can see my vitnet. Okay, I'm gonna go inside the tunnel. There you can see it looks nice. gonna publish and then we can see how it looks okay there you go you have a torch effect as you can see we're gonna play around with the vitnet in GIMP so that we can have a very very good uh, effect on the walls okay light effect I need to put one more light in also I'm gonna add another light just for the distance but like you as you can see guys that is the thing I want to uh, 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 fix I want to see in a distance so the only way to do that if you give the background color if you uh, uh, add the background color to your vitnet okay I'm gonna show you now now this is this is almost like the effect I want as you can see you can see much deeper in the tunnel okay but um, I need to play around with the color I know I need to play around with the color and it will come right okay but it's almost like a foggy smoky type of uh, atmosphere let me just make it darker I'm gonna go darker okay light let's let's check how it's gonna look if it's a bit lighter I mean dark I think dark is better you see there it's almost almost there doesn't look bad at all I want the tunnel to be like a horror effect you know 
nice and creepy wet and cold okay let's just uh, scale up this light okay yeah you see there you can see in the distance okay i know we must just play around with the vitnet in the color in the light and we'll have, an per, we'll have a nice torch torch effect since it's gonna be dark under in this tunnel we're gonna need a torch I wanted to put a torch in front of the weapon but um, then I need a spotlight script that will be a javascript J, uh, js script I'm not fond of scripting so that's why I'm gonna make it something that is more to a, a torch spotlight then to use a script okay so I, I'm satisfied with this type of atmosphere the environment it looks it looks much better okay I can see at least when there's any zombies or what, creatures or something lurking in front you know I have a, I have an opportunity to to shoot at them before they are all on top of me. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it as such. I'm gonna use this as the torch. Okay, it's gonna be pitch black when you enter this tunnel. There's gonna be some light, but very very little light, and that is when you're gonna use your torch. Okay, as soon as you get into this carriage. Um, I'm not gonna use a carriage actually guys I don't know what you call that stuff it's like a, a trolley bin that stuff that comes out of the mine with the coals in it, like transports it also runs on a rail uh, okay when it goes into the mine coming out of the mine now you gonna sit into that one of those stuff and you just gonna drive around you must actually survive you know I'm gonna try to make the zombies jump from the platform on top of the cra on, on top of you and that is when they like you know take some of your your health and stuff so I'm gonna work on the vitnet okay just reload and check uh, that is much better I love this vitnet I'm gonna keep this vitnet guys this is how the torch effect is gonna look under in this tunnel okay I hope you guys are satisfied with that if you have any complaints you can leave a comment in the comment box if you have any tips on how to improve this uh, 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 the track the physics whatever you think if you have an input you can leave it in the comment box okay and if this video is helpful especially the the series Please smack that like button, if it's your first time here, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Ring that bell notification icon so I can notify you whenever I upload more videos or the next part of this series. Okay, my name is 3D Mess Tutorials and I'm creating a project. It's a uh, tunnel, a horror tunnel. It's a gonna be a first person shooter. Okay, you have to survive. That is all you have to do. You're going to drive under in this tunnel, killing zombies, or creatures, whatever you are desire. I'm going to decide which type of enemies I'm going to leave in this tunnel. Perhaps I'm going to make some creatures spawn also. Okay? So, all in good time. That's why you need to subscribe to my channel. Ring that notification bell icon. Smack that like button so that we can get acquainted and you can get more of my tips and tricks on how to create games um, let's put some bloom on this vitnet I'm gonna up it more just to get a soft nice soft effect okay I want the torch more bright brighter than the the light in the tunnel okay i'm just gonna replace that quickly 
okay we go to copper cube and go to copper cube and refresh reload texture and play there you go you see there the blue makes a very very big difference there you go there's the torch light you're gonna see the weapon or the torch it's gonna be there it's gonna be visible it's gonna be outside of the vitnet not inside of the vitnet okay i'm gonna clone this light let me just clone it move the one to the front it's too much this is the part where i'm going to give a, a, a torch effect on the wall as you can see there it's a nice torch effect okay uh, but it's a bit too much mm, it's too much go to attributes bring it back a bit go to attributes the hierarchy mm, let me check something Okay, we're gonna go to the radius. I'm gonna put it on 15 and play and check. Okay, there's the light. You can still see the light on the ground. But it, it gives a nice effect on the wall, as you can see there. It's a bit bright. Maybe we can change the color. Let's see if we can change the color. Um, let's see. How's that? It looks better. Yeah, it looks much better. Okay. But I'm gonna play around with the lights. Okay. Just let me play around with the light a bit. Okay. It's almost there, guys. You can see. We have an effect there on the wall and there is also a nice effect on the platform and on the track. It's not so bright. Um, okay. Make it 15 again. There you go, that is nice. Now that, I'm gonna leave it there guys, that is what I want. It is beautiful. Okay, there you have your torch light guys. As you can see. I'm not gonna get it any better than that. Okay. I'm satisfied with that light. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials and I'm showing you how to create a torch. I'm in a, a project or a, a tunnel project that I'm busy with FPS game. Uh, first person shooter and I'm just uh, adding some uh, adding a torch after the torch the next video I'm gonna add the weapon and uh, I'm gonna make the weapon also shoot okay so you need to subscribe ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you when I upload that video so you, you don't miss it I, I promise you guys it's gonna be awesome I'm gonna make that uh, I'm gonna make that zombie chase this, chase you, chase the, the character and you're gonna shoot that zombie some of them are gonna stand on the platforms I'm gonna put one here and there but I would like one or two of them to chase you okay, to chase the, pl the, the, the player um, that is the torch of it guys I'm gonna leave the tutorial here um, like I said, if you want to watch the next video, you need to subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell icon. I'm going to show you how to add a weapon, like a gun, to the character in the game. And make the weapon shoot, and also put in some uh, enemies. Okay, so my name is 3 d Tutorials, thank you for watching this tutorial, if this video was helpful please smack that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one just to support my channel.